All right, thanks for joining me for the final match of this league with Blue Red Tempo. Uh, I would like to play first. Poem says, good luck, have fun. We'll respond in kind, because it's, you know, polite. But we do, we do want them to have good luck. Like, I want to win, but I want to win good games where I learn things, because ultimately, like, this match does not mean nearly as much as getting better as a magic player and having just overall positive experiences. Uh, this hand's pretty great. We have threat, some interaction, card selection, land, enough lands, it's just it's a good hand. Pretty solid. Um, our, our mana development is going to be really slow this game, but that's not a horrible thing. Ugh. Affinity again. Hopefully we can do better than last game. I'm going to go ahead and preordain here. Bolt is really bad, but Flame Slash is fine. And I can jam this Miscreant. Um, Bolt is only really bad because we already have one. But like, okay. Opponent's development is, is slow. Is, oh, we can Ninja here. That's just, just phenomenal. Like, when, when we're able to start doing the damage first, that's a, a fantastic sign for us. Get this boiler works in play. And we can, like, use Flame Slash and Lightning Bolt to get rid of whatever our opponent plays next turn and keep connecting with this ninja. As long as, I mean, as long as they don't have, uh, as long as they don't have something like a, a Galvanic Blast to get rid of the ninja, but... Even if they do, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's two mirror enforcers. Okay, well, that also does it. Yeah, they're probably blasting the ninja with this springleaf drum. Yep. All right. Well, they're down to two cards in hand. Oh, we have double fairy miscreant. So we're going to flame slash one of them. Miscreant. Miscreant. We have a spell stutter sprite that we can't really cast, but we can like uh, block and then bolt it end of turn, and that's fine. We bolt this this enforcer, and then um, the next turn, if we draw an untapped land, we can play the small drifter. If we don't, we can just hold up dispel and spell stutter sprite, and maybe whatever we draw will fit into that somehow. A tog is my, my main fear here. Is the opponent really hesitant to attack? Like you're gonna have to run into block plus bolt anyway, sometime you know, at some point. Sure. Alright, so we can also dispel something here. I don't want to. All right, Flare Husk. I would love for my opponent to spend two mana trying to equip. They didn't. Uh, so they don't have anything like an Atog, which is great. Alright, so here, here's a dilemma. I think I want to hold up Spell Starter Sprite here. We have a faster clock than our opponent. Um, just because they're at 18. Our clock isn't exactly faster, but they're at a lower life total. So we have the same clock, but ours is is more effective. So I just want to hold up counter spells here. Once I'm able to get down the, the spell starter sprite with value, then I'll consider jamming the small drifter. <laughs> Excuse me. Also, like, Mold Drifter's always going to be good. Spell Starter Sprite. We have, like, a, a limited window. Once my opponent's empty-handed, it becomes a lot worse because we're forced to, like, tag whatever spell comes off the top. Mm, yeah, that's happening. It's, I almost... I hope their last card's a Galvanic Blast, so we can just trade the Dispel for it pretty cleanly. Okay, it's not. I guess that's fine. 
Maybe they have another Atog, which would be kind of a, a problem. But oh wow, they just they just didn't have anything to, to play with two mana. It's fantastic. Alright, our clock's faster. Uh, just jam the small drifter, see what we draw. Okay. Uh I don't think I'm gonna want to dispel anything next turn. We'll get the cliffs into play and start attacking. Uh, another good reason not to block last turn is because the small drifter, um, like, not only do we want to get into a race because our clock is faster and we have flyers, the Mold Drifter brick walls the germ this turn. Carapace Forger is a bit of a pain. But we have the Seagate Oracle and we can always, like, block plus bolt. So. Oh. Oh. That is spicy. I'm just gonna, gonna bounce the Spell Star Sprite. Mold Drifter is really expensive. I don't really want to get into the the having to like find another time to pay five mana and recast it. All right, that's good. Um, I'm gonna see get Oracle. I know I want to keep two mana up already, so uh, we already have a Boiler Works, so I'm just gonna grab the second dispel. Maybe it'll be useful. Maybe not. Who knows. I can block and bolt, I can dispel, I can spell stutter sprite. We just have just have all the options. Uh, or do I just block with all my guys? No, that seems that seems wrong. I'll just jump, throw throw C8 Oracle in front. I can always like just write this block off and spell stutter sprite something if I have to. If, like, my opponent plays something that I care about, as opposed to just, uh, just passing the turn here. Well, I can't do anything about that right now. So I'm just gonna bolt the Carapace Forger. Alright. Another Mold Drifter is fine. Uh, I'm gonna tap the Swift Water Cliffs here. Because I might want to return it with Boilerworks. Okay, we're going to draw two cards. We have... Oh... Da, 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 da. Hmm. So we have the Oracle, but we can't play it. So we just have to keep these mana up. Um... I'm just going to crack in for one here and try to trade both Mold Drifters for the Mirror Enforcer. I feel like that's the best line. And the Boilerworks is going to actually bounce an island to give us a little more... a little more mana next turn, should we need it. Galvanic Blast, huh? I'll spell star sprite that. Get a little more power into play for the race. Um, it also lets us, if they equip the the mirror mirror enforcer with the flare husk, it lets us tr triple block. We're attacking with everything. All right, well, let's do it. Want to keep the ninja in play? Want to get rid of this enforcer? If they have another Galvanic Blast, I'm punished for spriting instead of dispelling, but otherwise we're okay. Alright, uh, that that ended pretty much exactly how we hoped. Opponent has an empty board. We have an unmolested Ninja of the Deep Hours. Also, preordains are sweet. I'm gonna top, top, so I can jam this Miscreant and draw cards. Opponent concedes. Alright. Uh, so that went about how we, we drew it up, as opposed to the Affinity matchup two rounds ago, where we just, uh, things didn't go as planned. Alright, um, but it is just game one, so. So we're going to take out Mold Drifters for certain. 
On the draw, Deprive is not great. But the Infinity deck is actually pretty slow to get rolling. So I think I just want to sideboard the same way. Take out the Dispel and the Lightning Bolt. And the Drifters for the three Echoing Runes and the three Hydro Blasts. Alright. Um, opponent is studying whether or not to mulligan. This opener is, is really solid. So we're going to keep... We have, like, plenty of lands. Well, not plenty, but we have enough mana for the moment. And Preordain can help find us more. We're on the draw even, so that probably won't matter. We have a removal spell. We have Spell Star Sprite, which can be a potential counter spell. And Seagate Oracle kind of ties things together by finding our missing our missing piece. Uh, so, you, like, even if we do get mana screwed, we can preordain into land, and then Seagate Oracle can find us a spell if we need it. I'm going to keep. Opponent kept seven as well. Which, you know, is that's fine. Alright, this counter spell is, is great. Now we have a hard counter to go along with our spell starter sprite. An opponent just plays oh wow. Opponent just just doesn't have any any um another land. So that's good. If they uh if they have another one drop, we can just snap off the spell starter sprite. And if they don't play anything, we're totally fine with that too. Turns out they didn't play anything. Alright. I'm going to preordain for a land here. Shh. I don't want this counterspell because I already have two plus the sprite. Definitely want this island. Like right now we just want to keep hitting land drops. Um, we Like we already have... The removal spells, I, I want to start getting getting like this fairy miscreant into play while holding up counter spells and all sorts of things. Okay, so they probably have a Carapace Forger in their hand, judging by the fact that they filtered for green. So if they hit any other land, they can Forger. But they have to discard. Discarded a Thought Cast. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to get this, this miscreant into play. I don't want to see it Oracle because it, it leaves my shields down. That is a, a good spell starter sprite target. Oh, and a boiler works. Uh, opponent just concedes. Great. So, uh, so we won that, um, went three and two in the league overall, which is solid, but not super impressive. So, um, stick around for like the, the conclusion. I'm going to, going to give, Record another video with my thoughts on the deck, how that leak went, stuff like that.